Hey, it's Eric and Tay. We're going to be talking about three things that you need to know before you decide to purchase the new Eufy S40 solar panel camera. So this is the one with the solar panel on top. And the first thing that you want to know is that the spotlight is very bright and it might use up a lot of the battery. Now, if you set this for color and night vision, it will turn on the spotlight when it sees motion. Sometimes it gets triggered automatically or uh, accidentally when it sees bugs, but most most of the time it does stay off and it works pretty well. Now if you set this to black and white night vision, which is what I personally like, it will not turn on the, the spotlight saving battery throughout the night. But in the app you can actually turn on and off that spotlight manually. So you're still recording at night in black and white night vision, but it won't turn on the spotlight. It's up to your personal preference if you want the color night vision or the black and white night vision, but just do remember that Spotlight does use up a lot of the battery. The second thing you need to know is that this camera needs to be in direct sunlight for most of the day to keep the batteries charged. If the location where you're going to put this camera is not in direct sunlight, it's just going to be a dead camera after a couple months. So if you need to put a camera in a location where there's not direct sunlight, what I recommend is that you're getting something like the E40, which doesn't have a solar panel, but then you can buy the solar panel separately, which comes with a 13 foot wire and you can put this in the sun and still be able to charge this up. They have pretty much the same cameras with the same features in the app. They both have 2K. They both record locally with about 8 gigs. They both have person detection. They both have infrared night vision. The only physical difference is the um, spotlight and also the sale old panel on top, which obviously the E40 does not have. And the third thing that you want to know is that it does clip recordings to the internal memory of about 8 gigs. Once that memory is filled up, it will rewrite over what's been recorded now you can set up to optimize that storage where it can only record maybe uh, 10 to 15 to 30 seconds when there's motion detected or you can maximize it um, when it sees motion and record a entire uh, 60 seconds it's all up to you and how you want to use that memory now understand that this is only clip recordings it's not recording when it's not seeing motion and um, that is a downside if you like me and you love 24 7 recording possibilities but unfortunately there are no 24 7 recording cameras that are battery operated so something like this is great where it sees motion it will record locally and then you can access it via the eufy app overall this is a great camera i have a lot of eufy cameras and this is definitely one of my favorite but understand the most important part of this camera is that it does have to be in direct sunlight for a few hours per day to keep that battery charged. I hope this video was helpful. I will see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.